Finally, it is a great time for Excel users because compiled in Excel get advanced analytics functionality. After the months of users complaining about super basic AI features available in the Excel and compiled in it, we getting more and more advanced functionalities and finally compiled in Excel supported by Python is worldwide available. Now you can open your Excel application and execute advanced analytics with reasonings with supporting your deep dive into large volume of the data rather than just conditional formatting supported by AI. In this video, I will show you how you can use Python in Excel with Copilot and analyze huge Excel files filled out with the data and to finally have great value behind Copilot in Excel. I also want to encourage you to support this channel by feeding YouTube algorithms by like, comment or subscription. Let this video be shared with others. Now we will switch to my screen and I will show you how to use advanced analytics in Excel. I prepared special 5% discount for support from Copilot MVP me that will inspire you, train you and support you in your journey with working with Copilot. Check the link in the description, get access to Copilot quick start workshop and get 5% discount. And before we will move forward, just few important information about Python in Excel, which is the new functionality that is also available outside of Copilot, but there you need to know how to develop the code in Python, which is programming language. In Copilot, you will be able to use natural language and the code will be generated in the background. But what is very important, this code in the Python will be executed in the Microsoft Cloud. In Azure, will not touch your device, will not have access to your data. Executed code will not have access to your computer account or your data outside of the spreadsheet or use your network access. So be aware that this is totally different way of working. We storing some data in our Excel, then we executing the Python code in the Microsoft Azure and we getting the results in our Excel spreadsheet. This is something new. In the description of the video, you will find detailed documentation about Python in Excel. And now let's try Copilot in Excel that will use this functionality. In today's demo of the Excel Advanced Analytics with Copilot, we will use the exports of the crime statistics from Chicago that contains 200,000 plus of records that will describe it. This will give us the volume of the records that we want to have to deep dive using AI into advanced analytics. So to use Copilot in Excel, the only thing you need to do is to go to Copilot icon on the top right corner and when the Copilot panel will be open, you will see one new functionality that is available in there, advanced analytics. And if you want to execute this Python based analytics of your data, you will need to start it in the Copilot, the new spreadsheet will be created and the Python configuration will be deployed in there. You should expect that could took some time, but let's see that in a moment. After a few seconds, you will get the data frame with the Python icon in here that will contain all of that data. You will also see Anaconda model that is behind the data that we're using in Python. And moreover, on the top of the screen, you can see the information about premium compute that is available as a part of the Azure execution. So when you will execute advanced analytics and Python, you will use at the very beginning premium compute that is much faster and after some time you will switch to standard compute. You should assume that if you will need high performance, probably you will need to extend your capabilities with this premium compute. But again, I highly recommend you to start with the standard setup 
and test how this functionality will work for you. And now we will try to understand the data that we have here. Again, you can see we have two, more than 200,000 uh, of the records and we can ask our compiler to do deep dive analysis of the data that we have here. After the moment, the statistics will be created for the whole year. We get the number of the crimes that were committed during, Tanta, during this time. Moreover, during the analysis, specific information for each month were calculated based on the number of the records we have here. And you can also see the code in Python that was created to execute these results. And in the next step, what we can do, we can ask to visualize that data in time based on the records that we already have here. And in the moment we get the results that visualize the statistics about the crimes in Chicago during the time. And based on the year, you can see when the people were close at the home, the stats went down and then based on the time frame that these crimes were committed, Moreover, again, remember that you get the Python code that were used to execute the results. If you know the Python programming language and you can develop the code in here, you can achieve even more without using Copilot. But, but let's try to visualize that data based on the location because we have the specific geographic location of each crime that happened and were registered during that time. And what we can do, we can use this location to visualize that data. Unfortunately, yet this solution cannot load the maps for you, but you can see this is almost exact visualization of the Chicago map. I highly recommend you compare this result with the Google Maps or Bing Maps that present the Chicago. And you can see we can easily visualize that kind of results based on the data that we have here. Moreover, we can ask Copilot to analyze the trends in our data and highlight the deviations of average statistics that we have to highlight the elements that will differ from the perspective of the average results that should be expected. In this case, we, you can see we have high volume of the data that differs during the time, but imagine if you're working on the production side and have quality control about the production process and you want to find the moments in time when the quality went down, this is a great solution to easily find that kind of information based on the huge volume of the data. And you can see again, we're getting to the April of 2020 year. When we know what happened, we went to lockdowns and uh, most of the people spent that time at home. And you can see, how that data results are easily visualized in such a diagram. Moreover, we can ask Copilot to perform correlation analysis between some parameters in our data to find any correlation between the data and how, how these elements could impact the final results and how specific parameters of your data could impact the results. And you can see, we get the impact analysis, how crime and location determines the statistic relationship be behind the data. And you can see we get very interesting informations about this kind of correlation of the data. Moreover, we can try that kind of analysis with multiple variants. And sometimes if the copilot will analyze the data and will not found the correlation between the elements that we're highlighting, that kind of reasoning will also happen and we will get the feedback from the AI model behind. You need to test it on your data if the delivered results will be satisfying for you, but this is a really promising feature, which frankly, from my perspective, I'm planning to use a lot to analyze existing data that we have here and to predict possible results. And you can see based on the data that we have here, Copilot prepared possible prediction for the future forecast of the crime count for first three months. 
And you can see again, this is the prediction based on the AI model. We can deliver very interesting deep dive analysis of the data that we have here. We can prepare the very advanced visualizations of the data, moreover even predictions of the future results. This is something that we were looking for when we are thinking about compiled in Excel. I love this feature. I really think that this is the type of game changer, killer feature for future of using AI in the office applications like in Excel. If you're working with the large volumes of the data stored in Excel files, Copilot in Excel with advanced analytics will be great solution for you. You can see you can easily use natural language to ask Copilot to analyze your data and do quite interesting stuff with the elements that you will have there. Analyze your data, deviations from the statistically predictable results or prepare forecasts and predictions for the future. I love this feature and I'm looking forward for your feedback. What do you think about it? And again, if you never tried it, check the latest updates in the Excel app on Windows PC where you can try Copilot in Excel with advanced analytics. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.